This is Apology of Science, the Young Explorer series, exploring creation with chemistry and physics. So the Young Explorer series is geared toward um, elementary and middle school. So we've been doing it since third grade, so third through eighth. My son is in eighth right now, so he's doing this one. This is a newer one. The anatomy one is newer too. Most kids start out with astronomy. Um, we did in third grade, and then fourth, fifth, and sixth, we did the zoologies. So zoology one is the flying animals, zoology two is the water animals, and then zoology three is the um, land animals. So those are always fun, and you can always tailor field, field trips around them too, of course. Like the um, astronomy, you can go to a science museum, the land animals, you can go to the zoo, the swimming ones, you can go to the aquarium, the flying ones, um, they have raptor centers or different places you can go to. Anatomy, we didn't go anywhere. You can figure out things or things around town to do. So anyway, they are, I highly recommend them. These are, make science fun. So it has the hardcover text book that you read through. The younger kids, you could read it as a group and discuss out loud. If they're older or want to work on their own, they could just read it, discuss it with you if they want. Um, it's excellent. It's learning their idea behind it is you have one subject you learn in depth for the year. Instead of, like in school, you learn little tiny bits of everything crammed in one year and you don't really remember much or care because you're just memorizing facts. So this actually makes it fun, makes learning fun, fosters that desire to want to research and learn more. So, like I said, I'm doing this with my 8th grader, so he's not all the way through with this. But this is the... The text, they have colorful pictures, it's well written out. Um, this is a table of contents for this one. She writes in a way that's easy to understand, the kids get. Okay, so it's all written out here. Gives you the introduction, how to use the book, and then the lessons. So they have the try this boxes, little things you can try that go along with what you're learning. Everything is very colorful. They use household things for the projects, so they have a list of that too in here. There's ordinary household items, some things you may have to run to the store for. Projects, they're simple, they're fun. We did that one, lava lamps. Homemade lava lamps. So it's just very, very thorough. Interesting facts, more projects. You have a project at the end of each lesson. You don't have to do everything, you can just pick and choose. You have the freedom to use it as you want. Just showing you some of the I won't go through the entire book here. <laughs> there you go. And then at the very back, they have all the answers to all the review questions that are in the book. There's a glossary. Oops, sorry. Okay. Then, the notebooking journal that goes with it. Like I said, you don't have to have this, but I highly recommend it because each kid makes it their own. This is their place to put everything in. You don't have to print out worksheets or figure out how to supplement the book. It shows you how to use the book, and then it has the daily schedule. It's beautiful. <laughs> so it has 28 weeks. And it tells you exactly what to do. So science is two days a week. We do it on Tuesday and Thursday so we can do our history on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, but you can do it any, any way you'd like. And it tells you exactly what to read in the textbook and what pages you're going to do in this notebooking journal. So your lesson plan's are already here. And then each lesson starts out with fascinating facts where you can jot down what they found interesting or stuck out to them. They could illustrate it and do it whatever they want with it. Um... There's the vocabulary crosswords, there's the scripture copy work, and there's the mini books. Love the mini books, even if they're not 
really into art. They like to do those. They're located at the back of the book. They have all the pages back here. You can just rip out when you get to the lesson and use. So it's nice. You don't have to do anything with that. And then at the end, they always have a um, extra book suggestions and things that you could do if you're more inter if you want to learn more. And then the projects you can write. They have pages out here for when you do your experiments, and you can also take pictures of what you did and keep them in here as well. So it's kind of fun. You can get to see what they have. You can look back and see what you've learned. And then it just repeats itself. trying to look through the phone at what I'm grabbing. <laughs> it's, like, it's not working too well. They don't have to do every page either. You don't want it to be a, a chore, like they're not having fun with it. But um, everyone seems to love the mini books. The vocab crosswords, I always make him do that because I need to learn their words. But um, like I said, we haven't finished. We're still working on this. So there's, but the answers to the vocab are in the back. Tons of places they can use and put things and it's fun so highly recommend this so not only do they have a place where they can keep everything in one place but it has all the lesson plans all done so it's good for independent work or if you want to do it together as a group so this was the chemistry and physics one and I think this was the newest one they might have made more by now but that's it